Okay, dear students, let us start doing this question. A satellite of mass M orbits a planet of mass capital M in a circular orbit of radius R. What is the work done uh, on the satellite to increase its orbital radius to 2R? So my dear students, um, um, whenever you get this kind of a question, it is a common tendency to think that we would be using the formula that work is the product of the force and the displacement. But this formula is not to be used, I mean, like in any other chapter, majorly, other than the topic two. So uh, this is highly specific to topic two. But when it comes to topic 10, when it comes to the fields, gravitational field and mechanical uh, magnetic field or electrostatic fields, we do not go for such formulas. Instead, we go for um, work is equal to change in energy. So uh, there is um, another formula that I have been telling you in so many of the videos I have told you this thing like the work done by the field force it is equal to the positive change in kinetic energy and it is equal to the negative change in the potential energy this is known as work energy theorem work energy principle work energy principle and we have actually done this in topic two even this formula is not valid in this case. I'm going to explain you why. This formula is valid only under the condition that the total mechanical energy or the total energy should be constant. So the new energy will not be added into the system. The new energy is not added into the system. So the energy remains the same. And there is an intermixing of inter, uh, interconverting uh, the kinetic energy and the potential energy, they are now getting converted into each other. Like, for example, the case of spring. So there is this spring, you just do some work and then you leave it. And then the potential energy converts into kinetic, kinetic converts into potential and the body keeps on moving like this. So that is the case in which this formula is valid. Now, in this case, like this is the case of satellite motion. The mechanical energy is not constant. Why? It is a conservative field. Why the mechanical energy is not constant? Because we have done the work on the satellite we have given it more energy so it was having some mechanical energy which was definitely constant because gravitation is a conservative field no doubt about that but now some energy has been added into it so now the energy is something different so there is a change in total energy in this case the change in total energy is zero but here it is not number one this thing we need to note now i'm telling you about the energies of a satellite and how do we find it like for example this is the planet and this is the satellite which is moving so we can very well say that okay i know that the potential energy is given by minus gmm divided by r so this formula is now very um, uh, obvious kind of formula that is given in the books and you might be knowing this already point to be noted here is that the potential energy is always negative in the case of attractive forces and in the case of gravitation forces it is always attractive repulsive forces are not available it means gravitational potential energy is always negative and only it is zero at infinite which is actually the maximum value of the potential energy now coming to the kinetic energy how can we find that so let us say we say that this is the centripetal force and that should be equal to the gravitation force so g m m divided by r square that should be equal to mv squared by r and from here um just a moment i'll be very quick now because uh, the time is not that very uh much available so i'm dividing this by two and i'm dividing two here so half mv square is getting converted into this it means the kinetic energy can now be given as the positive gmm by 2r fine now moving further apart from that like uh, now we want to find the total energy total energy is the sum total of these two when you add these two you get another thing and the formula becomes minus gmm divided by 2r what are you doing you are just adding the potential energy and the kinetic energy here we are just adding these two and you get this much of the energy just a moment please Okay, so the total energy now is minus GMM by 2R. Now, let us concentrate on this thing. Um, there is another thing that I want to tell you. This condition, like this is really very specific condition 
and this condition is uh, when you can say that the potential energy is equal to the twice of total energy and it is equal to the negative of twice of the kinetic energy so this is another very important equation which would not be actually required for you people i would say but it is good to know this condition is known as bound state now what do you mean by this bound state means that this uh, satellite uh, which is here this satellite uh, although it is having a certain velocity it is having kinetic energy it is having its own energy but it is still bound with the planet earth it is not able to move away from the earth it cannot it is not free to move that is why it is known as bound state so they are bound now this is the condition that has to be satisfied so this is another thing that i wanted to tell you in this video now we are coming to your question and now we are going to concentrate only on this one single formula having said all many things now okay so i'm deleting each and everything so the formula for the total energy is minus gmm divided by 2r and now you see uh, so first of all the radius was r so i can say that this is the first total energy now the second total energy is given by the radius is now 2r so it becomes twice of twice r so it is becoming minus gmm divided by 4r so what is the work done so i will say this is the total energy initial and this is final so work done will always be equal to obviously the final total energy minus initial total energy so it is minus gmm divided by 4r minus of minus of gmm divided by 2r which comes out to be and this comes out to be a positive gmm by 4 R. so the answer will be c this is how we do this question my dear students in this question we have done uh, like too many things i've I tried to told you uh, like um, try to tell you uh, like for example uh, the bound state the all of the energies and how are they derived from like how, how is the kinetic energy formula is derived i've told you that and i've told you why can't we apply uh, the mechanics principle which we have done in all other questions like uh, the work done should be equal to the change in the potential energy why do we need to consider only and only total energy here instead of only potential energy or the kinetic energy that i have uh, uh, told you this thing and that is why our answer is c and as you can see the mark scheme yes the answer is c so my dear students this is professor Varun. please subscribe to the youtube channel and also share the video with all your friends all the best bye